Hello, in this video, we will learn all about printing in Java. When we start learning any programming language, we start by learning how to print hello world. Then we move on to learning syntax, operators, loops and get so entangled in it that we forget to understand basic print. And you need it in most programs to print your answers. So in this video, we will learn all about print statement in Java. I am assuming you are using any of the popular IDEs like Eclipse, BlueJay, Visual Studio, etc. Most IDEs provide you with the feature to automatically create a class and add a stuff for main which might look like this. I am assuming you are able to create this basic template for us to start practicing print. We will start by learning how to print any text or string in Java. Any sequence of characters which are inside double quotes is a string and if you put it inside a system.out.print statement, it will print that string on the console. So here we have printed hello world. Now how will it print if we put a space in the beginning of the print? Will it leave the space and then print? If you run it, you will see it will not leave any space. What if you put space inside quotes? Then it will get printed. So in a print statement, only the space which is inside quotes is printed. If we put any extra space before or after quotes, compiler will ignore that extra space. Now what if we want to print multiple strings? What we can do is use the plus sign to print multiple values. So if we give two strings hello and hi with plus sign in between, will it give a space in between? No, it will not. If you execute this, you will see plus sign actually works as a concatenation operator which we can leverage to print multiple values but it will not automatically add any space in between. Now let's take numbers. What if we give a number 10 to print? This will also get concatenated. What would happen if we gave two numbers? Now will it add 5 to 10? or will it concatenate? If you run this, you will see that it will concatenate the numbers. What if you actually meant to add the numbers? You have to put them in round brackets. Now plus operator will add first and then concatenate the answer to print. Now what if we put two numbers in the beginning of the string? You might think it will concatenate like we just saw, but if you run it, you will see it will add. Why? This is because in a statement, till the compiler encounters a string, plus operator works as a mathematical addition operator. But once it encounters a string, it converts to a concatenation operator and it will concatenate everything after that. You can also use various arithmetic operators in print like plus, minus, multiply, divide etc. But remember to put them in brackets as shown earlier. Now we are just printing constant values or literals right now. But you can use variables as well. In Java, you can declare an integer variable by writing int and then giving a variable name and then assigning it a constant value. You can use these variables also in print. So how do we print variables? Do we put it in quotes? Now if you run it, then it will print the variable name, not its value. So variable names might look like string, but we never put them in quotes. Now if you run this, you will see its value is glued to the string. So during printing, you have to put space in the string to ensure that your answer is spaced out. So if you have to print two integer values, you will see they will be concatenated. You have to put a string with space in between and not forget to put plus on both sides. Now how does character printing work in Java? Character literals are always put in single quotes to differentiate with string. So if you print this, you will see it will print the character. If you want to print the ASCII value of the character, 
you can typecast it into int and then print. Then you will see the ASCII value of A is printed, which is 65. Now what happens if you print two characters? If you run this, you will see instead of printing the two characters, it is adding their ASCII value. Why is it doing this? This is because it is converting char to int and then adding it. If you want to avoid them to be added, you use the same trick as before, put a string before it or in between them. Now print will concatenate instead of adding them. Java also has some special characters. Special characters are characters which have some special meaning in Java. They are preceded with backslash. Like for example, if you want to print a string with quotes, you are not able to do it as quotes in Java also means end of the string. So if you put it in a print statement, it will give syntax error. To avoid this, we put a backslash before the quotes which we want to print. Now the print statement will print the statement with quotes. Similarly, if we want to print backslash, we use double slash. This will print a single slash as the first slash is only there to indicate that slash is to be treated differently. The next special character is slash t. This is the tab special character. It is used to format string and it aligns the text to next closest tab stop and it will insert up to 4 to 8 spaces at that point. Like any other special character, it can appear multiple times and you can use it to format any multiple column data. The next special character is slash n. This is also called as a new line character. When this appears, it is a message to the compiler to move to the next line. So any text following slash n will be printed in the next line. Now let's write two print statements. How does this print? We see that it prints both of them in one line with no space in between them. So after finishing a print statement, the cursor stays at the same position for the next print statement to print. Java has another print statement which is println. println statement is equivalent to print plus slash n or new line in the end. So if we change the previous print statements to println, then you can see that now it is printing in separate lines. Now let's see this problem which has first print and then println. Will this print in two lines? The answer is no, because the first statement is print, so it will stay in the same line. How about this question, which has print, println and slash n. Here it will print the first statement. Moment it encounters slash n, it will move to the next line. Now since this is println, after printing it will go to the next line. Now let's see how real numbers are handled by the print statement. If you print a float variable, it will print with precision of 6 to 7 decimal digits. If you print a double variable, it will print with precision of 15 to 16 decimal digits. Now what if you do not want such high precision and want your numbers to be printed with just two places after the decimal? Here you will use another variant of print which is printf statement. Printf statement is used for formatting output in Java. It is very versatile and not just used for floating point numbers but can be used for all data types. If you just give the string, it works like the print statement and just prints the string. In the second function, the format string is used to specify how we want to format the output. This format string is a combination of literals and format specifiers. The format specifiers always start with the percent character and you have these for different data types. We have to give one format specifier for every argument we add in the print statement. 
So we have two floating values. So we will use percent %f two times. If we run it with percent %f, it will print the number by default with six numbers after the decimal. Now if you want to format this floating number, we can use this syntax. So here width is the minimum width of the floating number and precision is the number of characters after the decimal. It will pad with space in the beginning if the width of the variable is less. So if we give percent %10.2f for the first number and percent %4.2f for the second, then we will see the output like this. Now let's see how you can use integer values. You can use percent %d with the shown format. Here width is again to specify how much space is available and if the number is shorter, it will pad with spaces. With the help of a flag character, we can use minus to align it to the left or we can give a comma to separate the numbers. Now let's see how we use it to print string variables. For that we use percent %s with syntax as shown. The width is a number which specifies how much space is given to display the string. If the string is shorter than this, then extra space is filled with white space. If it is longer, then it is ignored and the complete string is displayed. The flag most typically is the negative sign which will make the text left aligned as by default it is right aligned. Here another interesting feature is that you can use percent capital S to automatically convert your output to uppercase. Similarly, you can use percent for other data types as shown as well. With this, we come to the end of the video. If you have any doubts, you can write to us at simplycoding.in. Thank you and all the best.